Hello, I am filming a basically a planner flip through of what I for writers and anyone else who's interested in it. But um, I have been looking for plan with me's and flip throughs for writers on YouTube, and I haven't found a lot, so I decided I'd better start filming so that we can start sharing that kind of thing with each other. First of all, um, I know everybody's getting ready doing their goal setting uh, for 2017. I wanted to share these pages that I added to my Happy Planner. Um, just using the pages that they provide. This is actually the copy of the 2016, this page. But I just put, I taped something over it that would work for me. I printed up a blank calendar and the purpose of this is throughout the year I often run into events hmm, this is a perfect one uh, the glitter sale at Goodwill in Seattle uh, they have a huge store there where they collect all of their designer things and once a year they have a sale on it uh, my girlfriend and I wanted to go to that but I had other stuff planned so I put it in my calendar because it's an annual event and that's what this is for is for annual events that I had interest in this year but had double booked and stuff and couldn't so that now I know it's coming up and also it will help me with things like I want to go to this conference it's going to be spendy it's in October uh, so I won't plan something real big and spendy in this month. It, these are things that I aspire to do. Uh, this is a big um, camping gambler rally. It's a race that you build a $500 vehicle and you go out on, well, my husband wants to go to it and we're trying to decide whether he should go the one in June or August. So uh, Washington State or Oregon State. So it's just to help plan those big things that we want to work towards so I can keep track of what month they're in. Crypticon, Comic-Con, <laughs> those kinds of things. Uh, this is my goals page. A goal without a plan is just a wish. These are the big goals I want to start doing so that I can get them broken into little pieces and get them actually scheduled in my monthly and weekly views. I want to attend more seminars, do conference for authors, um, write two books of course, and join RWA this year, find an accountability. These are big projects, accountability partner. These are big projects, goals to work towards, and I wanted to list them out so that I can break them down into bite-sized pieces into my planner. So as I'm planning, I can turn back to this page and go, have I addressed anything? Have I worked towards this? What's the next step I need on these kind of thing? If you don't have it written down, you can't get it in your calendar. So um, the next thing I will show you is how my daily, my weekly spreads work. So this is next week Christmas and it looks like just everybody else's planner. The only thing that makes it special for a writer is these stickers I've made for myself in Word. And it's really easy to take the measurements of your squares, build a table, type whatever you want in it and print it out and use a glue stick. Use I use a Xyron which puts glue on the back of regular paper. So I make my own stickers, and like this is a social media tracker for my entities. Which, as an author, you know that it gets really crazy making sure you've done everything you need to. So this is a good way to track it. And again, because it's just Word, you can make this work for however you want. Um, I am going to next round of these that I print, I'm going to add some Facebook groups. and so make sure that I'm active in them, in the author Facebook groups to help build my platform. Daily tasks, I've made these in Word. These are just Mambi, this is my blog post. Checklist for the week, um, I made that in Word. 
So all of the little things that I do as an author to help, it's too much to just wing. In order to make any kind of progress, you need a plan. I've been doing this stuff for a month, no, I'm sorry, for a year, and this works for me. Um, I also have to show this tip because this is good for any planner or whatever. I like to take these page flags, these post-its, I'm sorry, cut them and make little secret doors. This is my Christmas list of presents that I still got to last minute buy. There's no peeking that washi is so cute. But anyways, I make these trap doors because I leave this sitting out at my desk at work. I have a day job. And in order to make sure what's next every, you know, I get five minutes what's next on the to-do. Have I done this? Have I done that? Have I done that? I leave it out. I don't want people walking by my desk and necessarily seeing the details. I do that when I have flight arrangements. I do that when I have uh, doctor's appointments. I don't, I, whatever I don't want other people to see necessarily. So it's just a quick little trap door and it works amazing. So that's the next layout. Again, you see the basic stickers that I use. I do two weeks in advance. So the next thing I wanted to show you is my January layout. What I've done specifically for authors in this is social stats check-in every month to see my growth from the previous month. And then over here in the extra squares that you don't need, I make notes. So hmm, these notes are for the changes and the focuses and the projects that I complete during the month of January. Then when I go to do February stats, I can see if the things I've written here affected the next set of stats. This is new. I just implemented it last month. I think it's going to work. I did not make this, although I could have. I bought this on Etsy because it was just perfect. It was exactly what I needed. Um, I'll probably make my next batch. So the next thing I want to show you that's specific for authors is my editorial calendar for 2017. I made this tab just on a divider I wasn't using. Um, I have an idea bank where I just list ideas, projects, so I probably shouldn't be showing too much of that. But just a list of different topics that I might want to write on, blog posts, whatever. You need a place to put it so when you're looking for one you have a place to go to find one. So they're all in one place and not in little scraps all over your purse or bag or whatever. The next thing I did was a hashtag log so that I could have themed week. I put this piece of paper in here so it folds out. I want to do certain hashtags certain days of the week. Um, one of my favorites is kiss of the day and I'm going to start making sure that that's Friday so that my readership can come and know on Friday they're going to get that hashtag and they can look for it and giggle if they see the picture whatever. And then these are just other ones that could be any day. This is the editorial calendar. I printed this up for December. I haven't, I've actually done a month for all of 2017. Um, I just hole punched and snipped and slid it in here. It's just a blank calendar. But the purpose of this is to start getting the stuff down. I want to do my newsletters on Mondays. I want to do my blog posts on Wednesdays. And I want to do a YouTube video on the weekends of writer tips and stuff like that. What will go in in the individual days are my blog topics. Are anything, I haven't started doing it, contests, um, uh, other guest blogs on other people's spots, anything that I am writing that has to be written by a certain deadline is going to go in here. Anything that I am participating in, say a release party, a uh, book signing, anything like that will go in here. Um, to prepare the topics and make sure that I spread it out and I'm not constantly blogging on the same thing and whatnot. I've seen some webinars 
done regarding this and it makes a lot of sense to me. So that is my plan going into 2017 that's new. I'll keep you posted on how it works. But I think that the woman who did that, and I will link her down in the bottom, is brilliant. This isn't the page that she did it with, but building your list and using editorial calendars, very important. And this is just the system I came up that will work for me. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you have some ideas going into 2017. Us authors got to stick together and have a happy new year. Oh, and a Merry Christmas because it's not tight quite there yet. Bye-bye.